Hello, good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's office day. I'm out very early. Well, you know, time is about to change, so it's dark right now. Duh, Tracy. But you know, when time changes, when I come out, it'll be lighter. That's how time change works. Why am I talking about time change? I don't know, because people work. Ugh. See, we came on this side, and this is where all the holes are. <laughs> people worry about me out here walking in the dark, but it's like 7.30. You know, I gotta walk my dog so I can go to work. It's just kind of dark. Ugh. Stop. Okay, stop. That's enough about the darkness and what time it is and all like that, okay? Rebecca! So, Miss Pat sent me a video yesterday of a woman who was so nope we're not going over there this tommy's out walking with coco and coco and penelope do not get along what kind of accent are you doing now tracy i don't know rebecca anyway she sent me a video and it reminded me of a story so the video was about some english ladies british ladies sitting around a table having a spot of tea. Well, one of them wanted a bit of sugar, I guess, in her tea, and someone picked up a little blue pill and put it in the tea. Anyway, long story short, they put Viagra in her tea, okay? And she was like, what is it going to do to me? Well, that reminded me of a story. No, I have not taken Viagra, however, there is a Viagra made for women, just in case you are not aware. Wanna know how I know? Not cause I've taken it. Rebecca, <laughs> Rebecca's not answering. Hey, we're not going over there. She's so excited this morning because it is actually cool. And I don't know if I match because either all the lighting is bad in my house or I am truly colorblind because the first undershirt I put on with this was way the wrong color, I think. So then I chose this one with this and then I was like, well, that don't match either. I don't know. I just don't know about life anymore, but I'll get back to my Viagra story in a minute. It's 55. I think it feels like 53 but it's gonna be 75, so I'm trying to layer, but I feel like that don't match. Whatever, moving on, Viagra. So, long time ago, y'all know, somehow I get roped into doing all these things for people because I'm too nice most of the time. And, and I, it's not that I mind doing it, it's just, I don't know how it's always me. You know what I'm saying? So I went to church with this woman. <laughs> I mention her race because it's an integral part of the story. She was an older black lady, okay? And her husband, who was much younger, would bring her to church and drop her off. But she asked me if I could take her home. And I said, sure. It was just not even a mile down the road. Very sweet woman. I don't mind, sure, hop in. It became a weekly thing. So she, we would get in the car, we would be driving to her house, and she would talk to me and tell me a story. Well, this one particular day, she tells me, and this is where it's an integral part of the story of her race because she says, well, not so much her race, but her husband's race. She says, well, I, <laughs> I had to start on some new medication this week. I said, oh, are you okay? Oh yeah. She said, you know, I'm married to a younger black man. Uh-huh. She says, well, let me tell you something about younger black men. They have very strong desire. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> uh-huh. 
why do we have to talk about this? <laughs> she says, well, I went to the doctor because I just couldn't keep up. And he put me on the Viagra for women. Uh-huh. Are we to your house yet? Because I'm starting to feel real uncomfortable. She said, and I just want you to know that it works like a charm. <laughs> I didn't want to know all that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll be back. My shoulder's hurting, okay? I just said the longest goodbye to Penny. <laughs> but it wasn't intentional. I got on the floor trying to fix the door because the this thing that comes out that connects to the door was loose and I was I got in the floor trying to connect this tube looking thing to the thing on the door there's a little pin that goes down in there and when I got in the floor to try to fix it Penny was the most excited she's <laughs> ever been because she was like mommy's in the floor let's go get in her face so I just uh, gave her like a gazillion kisses while I was trying to fix the door. Needless to say, I didn't get the door fixed because I couldn't see what I was doing because I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but a Shizu makes a better door than they do a window. Have you ever heard that statement? You make a better door than you do a window, meaning I can't see through you. Yeah. Um, and that's what she does to me when I'm at work. You know, she wants to sit in my lap with her face in mine. And I'm like, honey, you make a better door than you do a window. And she just looks at me with those cute little brown eyes and there's a little barn key sticking out. Like, I don't know what you're saying, but I love you. And I'm like, I love you too, but I, I can't work like this, okay? That's all I'm saying is <laughs> you make a better door than you do a window. Oh, moving on. So, the girls, I, I had a little conversation with mom, and I told her that the girls can come every other night at 7 o'clock. I thought we had had that conversation before, but I don't know, maybe she missed the text message, because we usually just text message back and forth, but uh, she got it this time, and the girls have been very, I'm going to probably butcher some words, adherent to the rules. Did I say that right? I don't know. They're obeying the rules. Yeah, that's it. Obey. Obey. Anyway, however, they do like to bring me my mail, which I don't care if they bring me my mail. As long as they take it out of the box and bring it to me, then I don't care because none of my bills, except my water bill, goes to the mailbox and the rest of them come to my email or just go straight to the bank. So nothing I get is important <laughs> in the mail. Okay, so yesterday, I it was their night to come and I had ordered the flavorings for the popcorn and they had come in. I had it all set out. Well, I bagged up the trash and I took it out and I dropped it in the trash can. Like, that's what you do, Tracy, duh. When I came back in, I am so good about locking my door. I always lock my door. Except yesterday, I don't know what happened, but I, I don't know, probably because I was on the phone, as I always am in the evenings. I don't know, somehow I missed locking the door. It's just my storm door, because I usually leave my wooden door open, and it has a deadbolt on it. Well. I come in, I go outside and sit on the patio because we are now in the season where we can walk outside and sit and just breathe and talk on the phone and enjoy life without sweating. So anyway, I'm sitting out there talking to Kim. I hear someone at the door, but I didn't get up and go to the door because they didn't ring. So I thought it was probably Amazon dropping something off. Well, I look up to see Phoenix coming out my patio door. And she's, <laughs> I love her. She's holding a letter and it's got 
a blue sticky note on it that says right house number wrong street I had put it in the mailbox for the mail lady to take to the right house now if I had gotten mail for one of my direct neighbors that I know I would have just walked over and put it in their mailbox because I am the mail lady when they go on vacation I get their mail out of their mailbox and I even have a key to take it inside and lay it down I'm that neighbor that everybody trusts with their their mail and their keys okay but I didn't know this person so I didn't want to go opening their mailbox to put their mail in it because some people get real funny about that stuff you know well anyway I said what I, I mean what do you what she said I brought you your mail and I said well that's supposed to go out and she said oh I didn't know and I said when the red flag is up on the mailbox that means that whatever mail is in there the mail lady's going to pick it up and deliver it she said oh I didn't know she said Miss Tracy you need to lock your door because anybody could come in <laughs> and I should have said oh I didn't know <laughs> I said, well, I normally do, but most people don't just walk in the house. And she goes, oh, I didn't know. And then I walked her back down the driveway and I put the mail back in the box to go to be delivered to the right location. And she went on back home and I said, I'll see you at seven. So her and uh, Naomi came at seven and we had all of the popcorn and bacon is disgusting okay it was that smoky bacon flavor that I think is disgusting anyway in a powder that you put on the popcorn and they both had a fit and I just touched it to my tongue and I'm like no 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 it took me back to that video I did a couple of years ago where I tried all the different sodas one was bacon one was creamed corn and one was ranch ranch was the worst because it tasted like watered down spoiled milk and then the cream corn was okay because it was sweet and the bacon was okay because it was sweet but uh yeah this bacon popcorn flavor was disgusting so anyway that's it i'm at work remember i love you jesus loves you i hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy and i will talk to you on the next tracy tries toodles my noodles stay silly my friends and smile piss people off make people happier just make them wonder what you've been up to goodbye